This video is for people new to or visiting Arizona for the first time. Not so much for those that already live here. The reason for this is because if you've lived here for more than two weeks, then you are no doubt already familiar with the toes. No, not these toes. Or even these adorable little toes. I'm talking about Filiberto's, Arizona's granddaddy of the toes. Here in Arizona, there are a series of restaurants that end in toe. If you're new to the area or visiting, then you're gonna to wanna to get familiar with these taco joints. The story began in 1964 in California. A guy named Roberto Robledo and his wife Dolores opened their first restaurant called Roberto's. Over time, they extended the concept under the name Alberto's. Eventually, imitators started popping up. Places like Alberto's and Julio Berto's and Poliberto's and Roliberto's. There was probably a Goldstein Erto's somewhere out there too. Anyway, when the Tenorino family decided to open up their version in Arizona, they came up with Filiberto's, as in fill my burrito. At least that's what I always think. Well, the first one to open up in Mesa in 1993. I first learned about Filiberto's in about 1995. After a late night of partying, we pulled into the drive-thru, and I ordered a fish taco and a carne asada burrito. Man, was I in heaven. Ever since then, Filiberto's has been my standard of basic, fast, and cheap Mexican food. Heck, they even have a value menu. How much more American can you get than that? Anyway, let's get on with the review. I recently stopped into my Fill My Burrito and decided to try a variety of their fillings. And since I'm trying to maintain my high-speed, low-drag physique, I opted for their tacos rather than burritos. I ordered an adobada, a carne asada, a lengua, and a grilled chicken taco. They have a whole bunch of other stuff, but prudence dictated that I limit my order to four. I'm darn glad, too, because these suckers were ginormous. I could barely fit them all in my face. I devoured the chicken and lengua taco and got through half of the other two. Okay, before I go too far, let's talk about their condiments. On the left, they've got pico. On the right, they've got a fiery hot jalapeno salsa. They've got lemons, limes, more lemons. And then you move on a little farther to the right, and you've got their tomatillo salsa, a runny red, some charred serranos, some goopy sauce, no idea what it is, and some spicy onions and jalapenos. Right about here is when some guy cut in front of me and I wasn't able to finish filming the rest of the stuff. So let's start with the grilled chicken taco. The taco was stuffed with grilled chicken topped with guacamole and pico de gallo. My first bites weren't spectacular, but still good. Luckily they have salsa. The meat was a bit under seasoned, but it wasn't bad. I certainly wouldn't throw a stick at it. Next was the lengua taco. Most of you probably have no idea what this is, and once you find out, you'll probably not have the pelotas to try it. It's beef tongue. Yep, tongue. It was muy delicioso. It was fried crispy and topped with diced onions and cilantro. Taco didn't need any additional salsa. It was that good. I know some of you may be grossed out, but seriously, try this. Just put the idea out of your head and try one. You will not be sorry. Next up, the adobada. Sometimes spelled A-D-O-V-A-D-A, -A, but in Spanish it means marinated. Classically, adobada is pork marinated in red chili sauce with vinegar and oregano, but it can refer to various meats and marinades. Not surprisingly, it's a New Mexican specialty. Anyway, I got one, and judging by how full I already was, I could only muster a couple bites. It's too bad though, I love adobada from Filiberto's. It also didn't need any additional salsa, it was that good. Next up, my old friend, carne asada. Strictly translated, it means roasted meat. However, if you order roasted meat from Filiberto's, you're going to get grilled steak pieces. It's usually made with flank or skirt steak, but I suppose you could roast any meat and technically you'd be right. Another side note, since the first inebriated encounter, I've consumed a lot of carne asada burritos from various outlets. In fact, it's become my measuring stick for judgment. You know that one dish that gives you a clue as to how well a restaurant will perform? Well, for a deli, I go with a Reuben sandwich. For a hamburger joint, I keep it simple and go with a cheeseburger. But for Mexican food, it's carne asada all the way. I have to be honest here. Filiberto's isn't the best carne asada ever, but due to the nostalgic nature of the dish, I still like it a lot. So in the end, what does it all mean? Not much more than if you're new to the area or visiting for the first time, you really need to try Filiberto's out. Heck, try any one of the toes out. It's a good baseline for good Americanized Mexican food. The portions are huge, the prices are reasonable, and you won't be sorry. And trust me, try the lengua or the cabeza. Don't be a sissy.